do a small pull, Tristan? Go for it. Watch it. So the car shopping process finally begins. As you guys may already know, I'm looking for a replacement for my BMW 335i since I'm giving it away. Originally, I wasn't planning to film, you know, me looking at cars and deciding which one I wanted to get. I thought that would be kind of boring for you guys to watch. I was just gonna do that all behind the scenes and eventually show you guys which modern BMW I decided to buy. And then I made a poll on Instagram and asked you guys if that is something you guys would like to see. Maybe like a mini series of me car shopping and looking at potential replacement cars. And 98% of you guys actually thought it was a great idea. So here we are today. I'm gonna film everything, take you guys along for the ride. The days are quickly trickling down. A little over 20 days to go and this car will no longer be mine. And one lucky winner is gonna own this badass car. Like, I would be lying to you guys if I said I didn't feel uneasy in the stomach. This is a very nerve wracking, you know, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's mixed feelings. It's like happiness for the winner, sad to see the car go, nervous for the actual giveaway and the drawing. Guys, if you haven't entered yet to win this 550 wheel horsepower 335i that's been fully modified, you guys are missing out. For every $5 you spend on vehiclevirals.com, you guys get automatic entries to enter for a chance to win this car. Do not miss out. I'll leave a link down in the description below, vehiclevirals.com. What up, son? Hello. Nice sweater, though. Woo! Vehiclevirals.com for a chance to win 335i, bro. Go cop that sweater. We are currently at Greenway Dodge. See if we can find the sales manager and show you guys the F80. Can't wait to try it out. Never driven a competition model M3. Looked really good on pictures, so uh, let's find out. So we have actually Tristan right here. He's actually showing us uh, the F80 M3, and we thought we were gonna walk a bit. Actually, can I take this off? We're outside, right? We're outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a 2018 F80 M3. Um, originally this was probably the last car on my list to get as a replacement just because so many people have it but then recently I've gotten a change of heart maybe I'll tell you guys a little bit about that um, in a future video but now this is somewhere in the middle top range um, I would preferably like to get the LCI model 2 I think LCI 2 which is 2018 this is the comp package so it's more aggressive for the track use and stuff like that biggest thing biggest difference with the comp 20 inch wheels wheels and then also lighting. The lighting, yeah, the tail the lights LCI. are different too. And then we briefly talked about the exhaust while we we're in the car, right? Different exhaust in the back. Yeah, got a different muffler. You know, you know what's the color of that name? Uh, the color of that interior, Ali? Yes. Shakir. Yes. Shakir, is it Shakir orange? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's secure. Shakir? Secure. Shakira? Secure, <laughs> I think. Of course, we got the S55. This would have to be one of the most reliable modern M engines out there right Ali along uh, with the b58 of course b58 probably on top yeah s55 is pretty up there yeah. competition model I believe has what 24 more horsepower than the stock one doesn't really make a difference right because I'm gonna do an aftermarket custom tune anyways and yeah. get the power you know assuming that I do get this car the headlights have been updated for the 2018 as well uh, these rings they, they were just like a regular circle before it seemed like I think for the for the earlier 2014 to 2016 it's just a circle this one has more of a Squarish look. Yeah, squarish. And then it kind of it, it flows in with the grills right here. Pretty yeah. sweet. LED option. Black grills. Of course, M, M Competition pack has the black grills. I think it even has the black, uh, oh yeah, has the, the black M3 right here as well. The black for the, for the mirrors. The trims as well, so you don't have to wrap them. And then, of course, you got the carbon fiber top that's going to lower the center of gravity. These wheels have to be an absolute nightmare to clean. Yes, I cleaned the, these <laughs> wheels like last week. You did another car. You have to get like you know a Matt Mormon obsessed garage yeah, tool. You gotta get the yeah. in here and then in here. I've said it in the previous videos. I'm pretty much looking at sedan variants for replacement cars, mainly so it can be a hybrid between you know family use and competition and spirited drives. Uh, the E93 that I'm giving away, it just the two door doesn't work for me anymore, just because car seat situation the room situation for a family is just not there plus i already have the e46 m3 that stick shift two door i mean that's suffice if i want to go ahead and just kind of beat on the car and have fun with it uh, this one would be a hybrid which is why i'm looking at you know four-door variants so the most important aspect of this car would be 
and it has back door back doors you know what would be super annoying watch this so if you sit right here all right cool right <laughs> you're right this would be pretty fun <laughs> hello hey can you go slower sir what did they cut those seats out just to save a little bit of weight like how much weight did he really save by doing that uh practicality is this open here plenty of room for groceries don't you think yeah for all the merch oh yeah for all that mer guys you guys have been absolutely killing it with merchandise you know e46m3vehiclebarrels.com but anyways um plenty of room I i'm sure you're gonna get no no spare tire of course modern bmws don't come with spare tires what is that this is gonna add some value because it's still plastic wrapped <laughs> this is a collectible baby you know like a charizard card from pokemon right here no, not even close no. <laughs> <laughs> like that see that aggression on the m4 you can't quite see how big the arches are I because i don't like m4s you don't like m4s well what a coincidence because neither do i right on the two-door variant it's more of a like a sharper edge no 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 this one or is like a sharper a... edge this one is more smooth transition versus the four door it just goes just <laughs> like a dominican's thigh you know <laughs> let me stop anyway so that's what happens right here is that the options i think so oh that's convenient for the 2018 model didn't they update the infotainment display as well yeah it did update the infotainment display sadly yeah. the one thing i don't like about this car already and i could tell you because i read up on it, it doesn't have android auto only apple carplay yeah, I know. Everybody else has iPhone but me. So you got carbon fiber trim pretty much throughout. Carbon. Carbon. That? Harman Kardon sound system, which I've heard really good things about. I, I know some of the newer models, they, they've updated with a touchscreen. I'm not sure if this one is touchscreen at all. The iDrive is nicer. There's actually general. one thing that I realized. Those illuminate, don't they? Yeah. Oh. And those don't fade. They had like a... Ceramic coating? I don't know what it was, but those would like break and like fade and stuff like that, and they had to replace them. But on the older generation, really? F80 set. Should we take it for a drive? Yes. <laughs> oh. I failed. Yeah. You have to slam slam it a little bit yeah, harder. Yeah, but I always I'm always super careful with cars that are not mine. So. All right, all right, all right, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hey! Before we go on a drive, I gotta say these guys at Greenway Dodge is a Greenway Dodge think so anyways they've been super super nice i mean i was here for maybe five minutes talked to them they were super cool tristan went out and showed me the car customer service here is crazy which kind of explains why it's so busy in the lobby there they get tons of business this is the guy you guys want to see if you do come out here to buy a car uh what is they, they sell pretty much everything here it looks like look at alfa romeo baby nissan ram chrysler and uh, uh chrysler jeep dodge and ram yeah so there you go if you need a pickup truck because you know you got to haul those parts for your cars this is the place to go to if you guys are in the Central Florida area for sure. What's your favorite generation of BMWs, Ali? E36. E36. Oh, yeah, you're still stuck in the past. <laughs> I can tell you, if that's already on comfort mode, boy, the competition is stiff. <laughs> I felt that right away. Holy crap. Well, I mean, you got the 20 inch wheels. I'm sure the ride height is much lower. The dampening settings are probably stiff as hell. It's, it's on sport mode, so it was a little bit harsher than it was supposed to be, but holy. That's okay, man. My cars are all harsh as hell. They barely got suspension travel. So oh. neutral and in this. That's all right, perfect. There we go. <laughs> no, no. This, this, when this first came out, dude, we had a lot of people confused. I imagine so. <laughs> it's a lot different than most other cars. You better not squish me. Yeah, well, I forgot I have you back there. You know. oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So out of curiosity, are you really poking me, dude? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, yeah, they did. I added the touchscreen. BMW took forever to add touchscreens to the infotainment display, but I mean the iDrive system, the little knob here is much better. You, you know what's weird is it doesn't feel nearly as big as the N4 does. That probably doesn't make any damn sense. I know they use the same chassis, but obviously you got to accommodate for the rear section, so the front is a little bit more, feels a little more compact. It feels nice, I'm not gonna lie. Go, coming from like, uh, obviously I'm a big fan of older BMWs just because of the analog feeling and the, the response and everything, yeah. but this, this feels great. This became noticeably, noticeably stiffer once I hit the M2. It's like you put the dampenings on like rock mode. I put the shifts on uh, super aggressive so they're very instant when you press on them. Anyways, like I was saying, a lot of you guys are probably wondering how on dual clutch transmission, you should be test driving a manual version, Christian. What are you doing? I know a lot of you guys are enthusiasts that watch my channel, but for this type of car, I'm not looking for a six speed manual. I know that makes Ali a little bit sad, 
He's telling me to get a 6B Manor yes. in these cars. Because you know what? They're not that hard to find and they go for around the same prices. Unlike the F10 M5 where they're super hard to find and people tax big time on them. This is gonna be a family car. Like if there's a day that I wanna drive the car and I don't wanna do anything, I don't wanna shift, I just wanna just kinda of chill and have one hand of the wheel and that's what I wanna do. So this is a hybrid car. Uh, plus with the dual clutch transmission, it's super fast. It's much faster, technically speaking, around the track than a manual gearbox because you don't have, you know, the, the gaps between shifts and stuff like that. There is one thing Ali did tell me. What were you telling me about the power? It's limited compared to the manual? Yeah, the torque. The torque is limited to 650 torque if you were to go that high. After that, the clutch pack starts slipping. And you said if you wanted to upgrade the clutch packs, it would be super expensive on these cars. Yeah, and it's time consuming when you could just do a clutch on a manual car and not worry about and it. And hold all that power. Yep. Yeah, you guys have an F80 at the shop that has how much torque? 730. That's insane. Why would I? Why would anybody even need 730 torque? Don't ask me that question. Okay, 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 fine. That's but for me, I don't need 730 torque, dude, to, to light up the wheels all day. And if you, you do know, manage to get- You know I'm used to that car. No, I know, because you've <laughs> been working on it your entire life, it seems like. That car is what made me spoiled to 600 horsepower. Now I feel like 600 horsepower is slow. You hear that? That's the exhaust. I wanted you guys to hear what that sounded like. You know what? The S55 is not known for producing the best sound. Mm -hmm. At least the stock one. The competition one doesn't sound too bad, but yet again, we yeah. are in the cabin where, you know, BMW likes to pump in their fake noise. Yeah. So it sounds a lot better than it probably should sound because they pipe that noise in. And the reason they do that is so you can have a little bit of isolation but still be able to hear the engine noise, technically speaking. So far, feels really good. Feels really comfortable. I mean, I, I'm not gonna ask you for your opinion, dude. You've been in like in a million of these, right? So it, <laughs> it makes zero sense for me to be like, hey Ali, how do you like the car? It's uh, just yeah, another totally. F80 M3. <laughs> totally, it's stock. <laughs> Great. Um, as far as options, it seems like it's pretty loaded with everything, uh, with their, except like maybe the extended leather that normally comes up to the dash. But that's fine. I don't need. I don't need that on the dash. You know what I like about the obviously the, you know, not the G series, but these cars. They still have the analog gauges, so it still comes on. Kind of gives it like a, an authentic feel versus everything's digital. Kind of like that. It's like half digital, half digital, and then uh, half analog. So, anyways, yeah. It's like I was saying, dual clutch transmission for this car. I have the E46 that is thick. I have the E30 that's going to be a drift kit, uh, drift car that's thick. And there's actually another surprise car that I'm looking to get that's also gonna be stick. So I don't need another stick shift car, which is why this would be perfect. I do a small pull, Tristan. Go for it. Punch it. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Sounds good. Sounds good. It's hard to get excited because I drive a super fast car, but I got excited because I can already envision how fast I can make it. Plus, the dual clutch transmission just makes it so much of a pleasure to drive to. How do I feel, Ali? <laughs> Ali's feeling. <laughs> so the last <laughs> thumbnail. It's okay. So it's you know obviously I was kind of scripted in my head that I was gonna get super excited when I punched it, but I drive a car that has 550 wheel horsepower. <laughs> this was me the whole time. <laughs> the whole pull. Part of the reason I wanted to get a modern M car. Um, it's, it's for business purposes with companies for performance parts and stuff like that. And obviously this is a platform that is very popular. It's a three series M3, very desirable. And then since the new one is coming out, you know, the prices on these are going to plummet just a bit. So it's going to give uh, the opportunity for other people to afford it as well. So it's more of a business thing, a little bit of happiness, but I don't know. It's a tough decision. We'll see what happens when I, uh, when I test drive the other, the other two cars and I'll let my heart speak but there's a little bit of a business decision that has to go with it, not just exactly what I want. So let's say for instance, I like the F10 M5. This one might make more sense business purposes wise. You gotta get used to those brakes. They're like slamming on them. Yeah, well, modern cars are different. Hey, you put stainless lines on these, you're gonna be like kissing the dash every time you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, second gear. All right, see, I'm not a lie there. That one actually, I felt a little bit of something. I actually felt a little bit of something, a little bit of air right here. A little bit of happiness. A little bit of happiness, just a little bit. You know what I mean? It felt good. Even with traction control on, it was still slipping. I can still feel like the rear wheels slipping just a bit. There's one thing that I haven't noted, and that is that we have 
three grown ass adults in the car. I didn't feel nothing. It felt great. Tristan, it felt great. Oh, that, that I felt that. Yeah. Exactly. Two to one, baby. You lose. I'll put it back on auto mode. And see, that is the beauty. The absolute beauty of having the DCT is that I can put it onto auto and I don't have to worry about shifting no more. That's it. I'm chilling with my wife, chilling with the kid in the back. They're handing me something. I don't have to worry about shifting. I'm good. Shit, instead of your damn phone. Oh, that's wifey probably, isn't it? Dude, that's my realtor. And Congrats I got the house. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, congratulations, dude. Oh, look at that. Exactly. Congratulations. Well, last time you said you got the house, you didn't get the house. Uh, no, this is this is it. So you got the house? Yes. Let's see that reaction. You got the house. Congrats, dude. See, I got more reaction out of this than this F80. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to me. I drive these cars every day. Yeah, of course. It's really hard. You got to listen to me. I don't drive these cars every day. And I just noticed there's a very nice, squeaky clean looking cop right next to us, too. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Okay, so part of the reason, if you guys watched the video on BMW Invasion, there was like 95% F80s there, <laughs> which is weird enough if we cut to that clip. I think the most common car that I'm seeing here at the car show is the F80 M3, which makes me not want to get one anymore. It was between the F80 M3 and the F10 M5, but there's so many F80s M3s and not a single F10 M5. I don't know, it might sway me a little bit. M3s, F80, F82s, that's like the majority of the cars that you're seeing here. Look, M4, M3, oh, we got an E46, but look, another M3, an M4, an M3, F80. Um, I said that I would not get an F80 M3 just because they're so popular, which is why I was looking at an F80, uh, I mean an F10, M5, um, Maybe even a Supra, an M2 competition or something like that. But then I started crunching numbers and I started looking to, to, to see what's uh, what's the better business decision. And then I started slowly to drift back to the F80 M3 just because it just makes sense. See, if there's more of them on the road, then that means that there's more opportunity for me to get more views on videos, more product sales, more clout. And that's just what it is. Obviously, to, to be truly happy, I would probably choose the F10 M5, which I can still probably choose it. I'm not sure. I'm going to go drive one again. Um, the idea is to drive all of them back to back and see how I feel and then make a decision. But we'll see how that's going to go. Can you imagine getting this car and then a year later just flipping it for the G80? <laughs> so Tristan was asking me here, how do I feel about the M3? I gotta be super honest, I'm not like super blown away with like the driving dynamics. Obviously it's a modern car, I gotta get used to that. A lot of technology into it, so it's gonna be super fast. Definitely gotta add some power to this to really feel the life of it, but so far, feels good. Obviously I wanted to respect Tristan and his course, dealer here, and for that reason I didn't wanna just dog the car out. But uh, I think I got enough to, to feel what it's gonna be like to own one. It is a you know mid $50,000 car, so it's pretty hefty on price, but uh, that's okay. I think I deserve that. It's always a little bit weird to like, you know, talk freely when there's a random person with us. Yeah. Cool guy, by the way. It's just, it's very strange to talk into a camera lens. It's not the same. It's just not the same. It's hard to be yourself because somebody's listening to you yeah. and watching you. And obviously I couldn't push the car how I wanted to push the car. So, you know, make sure you head over to vehiclevirals.com to enter the giveaway. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog when I go ahead and check out the next modern car that might be replacing this car.